Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 15 3510 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you see there's three screws along this bottom edge, three screws along this top edge, and then one on each side near the center. Now these screws don't actually come out of the bottom case, they'll just loosen. And then you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they'll scratch your computer case a lot less than a metal pry tool will, but they're strong enough to be able to take this bottom case off. So go around the outside seam of the bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up all the way around. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You can damage some internal components, just keep it on the edge. And if you get stuck going in one direction and you can't get it up, leave it alone, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. After you get your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a quick computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet will go a long way to help you damaging things in your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for the Latitude 3510, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have all the tools and supplies that I would use on this computer, as well as all of these replacement and upgrade parts here if you needed help finding those. Now, before I touch anything inside a computer, guys, I always either remove or at least unplug my main computer battery. It makes it safer to work on the computer when as little power as possible is running through it. So first I'll show you how to remove or unplug your battery. Now to get this battery out, you have these four screws near each of the white triangles. And then the battery comes up here and plugs into the motherboard right here. So you have a choice of where you want to unplug the battery from. If you're going to unplug it from this top connector there, um, as with any cables and wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires if at all possible. Try to just manipulate the plug. So this plug is easy. It's got a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool and wiggle that right out of that port. If you want to unplug it from here, that's just a snap. So that snaps right off. And that's how you would get your battery out. So now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. So you have two locations for storage here. You have this hard drive caddy right here that's screwed in. These one, two, three, four screws are holding in this hard drive caddy, which you could attach to a SATA 2.5 inch drive. You could do a hard drive or a solid state drive and the hard drive connector is right there. You see it's in there and it'll plug into the motherboard here in this port that says HDD for hard drive. So that's how you would get a hard drive in there. Um, in the link below in the description, I'll have some hard drive options in there for you, uh, but that's how you would get that hard drive in, kind of a cool little additional spot there. Um, you also have this M.2 port up here. Right now you see it's got a little solid state drive in it, but there's also a screw hole here and here for the larger solid state drives. So this is a, again, it's an M.2 port PCIe and VME, and it takes up to Gen 4 solid state drives. So I'll have a couple different upgrade options. I'll have like a 500 gig, a terabyte, and a, and a two terabyte. Uh, I'll have some upgrade options for Gen 4 solid state drives if you guys are looking at that. And as a last side note with this operation, guys, if you are installing a new solid state drive, um, you are going to have to install an operating system onto that after in order to use your computer. So I will also have below in the description, I'll have two links. Uh, one video link will be showing you how to install Windows 10 onto a Dell computer. The other link will show you how to install Windows 11 onto a Dell computer. But that's how you would get in and access your storage, these two storage locations in a Latitude 3510. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. 
you can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.